So anyway, I started blasting. Travel plans to China. <laughs> Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> I don't know. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, I was getting a snow level. They couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. Yes, despite the whole bosses gimmick being fire, the locale is snow-based. Okay. I like to play around with the usual platformer aesthetics, which I, I, I do appreciate. Fair enough. Okay. So I need to just get back into the groove of things. Press the jump button to jump! <laughs> the other type that faces, press the circle button to slide. Jeez. Yeah, so uh, I don't really have any conversation topics this time, so I guess we'll just kind of YOLO. Well, the Mario move, well, just take a Mario trailer. Oh, that's true, yeah, that did just come out. Um, thoughts, I guess? Uh, I think we I think we have something promising. I like all the references, I'll say that much. DK no. looks pretty good. No! Uh, hi. Damn it, I keep doing that. Oh, you keep activating the Binaki Com. I keep thinking that the L1 and R1 is uh, the uh, change weapon or like change attacks. Uh, I don't know why. I think. Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's just the best button. move, honestly. <laughs> like, it's sort of one of the first things you get, and it's like, yeah. Definitely one of the more universally useful ones. You're fancy. Okay. Anyways, uh, Mario movie. Uh, thoughts? Everybody looks pretty good. I like. Uh, as they, they made DK look pretty, pretty good too. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, oh, okay. Uh, trying to be more in line with his like arcade appearance. Yeah. If Miyamoto said for the first time they redesigned him for like in ages. Since DKC1, yeah. Would you look at that? A fireworks show! Oh my gosh, that's awful! That poor <laughs> just got buried in freezing snow! The rocket came from that giant statue. You can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've gotta find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. So yeah, we got a new ability from the Thievius Raccoon as well. Oh yeah? Uh, I don't remember what it was. Uh, I wish it told Graham to have oh. But you were? Uh, well, when did you get past this guy? Alright, uh, try this. Hold still, and press circle. Oh. Huh. You, you you are invisible, but you can't move. I see. Okay. That said, you really want to get up the bottles in this level in particular. I'll take your word for it. Because I know what the very I know what the power up is is in this area. Area. Yeah, I, I guess you could also argue that the, the DK and. Uh, the country series isn't actually like the original Donkey Kong, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you yeah, actually didn't Cranky even show up. <laughs> yeah, there was Cranky in the background. I I saw him. 
It was like he was like on a throne or something. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 people have like spotted Dixie and Diddy in the background as well. Um, oh, I didn't see them. No. Oh, okay. it's fine. This cat just take this uh, ice skull to the face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you, what do you think, Scrappy? Ooh. We'll give it a sec. V. He, he is her, right? Yeah, he's just deafened. Or muted. I see. Scrappy, what do you think of the Mario movie? Trailers. <laughs> oh, by the way, I think you hit those fireworks back there. These, these little fireworks on the sides. Oh, the blue, the blue, the blue rockets. It's just for planes. Yeah, I mean, like, get, since we lost our lucky charm, it might help. <laughs> Makes you think of like the Sparrow, but you don't get gems. <laughs> Good. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. Yeah, that checks out. Remember, you can also use the, the invisibility and he won't see you. I should just kill him. Screw it. Uh, don't, worry, don't worry. Oh, right, we don't have the ability to uh, defy gravity yet. <laughs> okay, yeah, I would prefer not to use up life to something, some stupid stuff like this. <laughs> see. There's the vault. Yeah, there's more stuff over there. I think we gotta go around. Oh, it's slightly swaying. Ooh. Oh, Bad. I tried. I didn't oh. pull out a health sign before you fell. Uh, what happens if you game over again? You reset the area. Oh. Yeah, you. But you don't lose anything though. At least had progress. Okay. You just gotta backtrack again. Yeah. So, uh, did you hear what we we were saying earlier, Scrappy? I know. I went down to get knocked. That's what happened. <laughs> we were talking about the Mario movie trailer. <laughs> Return of the funny nachos. I actually was um, gargling with mouthwash, but I just drank up a can of soda. Uh, were, we, were we just talking about like the Donkey Kong references and stuff, and just uh, yeah, we just want to know y your thoughts on the trailer. Oh shit! I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> wait, we haven't watched it yet. No, I have. It looks like trash. I'm going to watch it. Oh! <laughs> Wait, you don't like how they look? No, I'm kidding. I, I like the trailer, but... <laughs> That's more like how we felt about the original Sonic design. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I didn't hate that design. What, Sonic? That was fine. It was tolerable. I would have gotten over it. <laughs> try saying that to try saying that to Sonic fandom and you'd be and you'd be ousted. <laughs> Sonic fans uh, have defended those six before. They don't get to have opinions anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You can't get through the security gate without one of the Panda King's treasure keys. There's one no over crap, there. Bentley. But it's heavily guarded. One key coming up. I enjoy the trailer animation, looks beautiful, but that was already a given when we saw the teaser. Yeah. I I also think they've not... I, they, I'm noticing they're really trying not to let Mario talk in these trailers. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't hasn't talked that much. Um, I, I've noticed Other... a lot of people online are like, very eh about Chris Press Mario. But like... Uh, he, yeah. There's other commercials where he talks more. Yeah, it's like... 
I'm kind of indifferent. I, I, I'm not like in love with, with his like Mario impression, but like it's. I'm not losing sleep over it. It's just kind of there. Well, we just gotta hope he gets better about stomping those Koopas. Koopas. <laughs> I was gonna say, honestly, um, not what's her name, Anya Taylor Joy's Peach is sounding a little more. It's kind of. It sounds more jarring to me than Chris Pratt's Mario. Uh, it's definitely a, a different take oh, on Peach, but I don't mind it. Um, I think it helps to like. This is clearly a, like like a much different take on Peach's character as a whole because she's not usually this proactive. <laughs> I think I already saw things on. I think I already saw things on like YouTube. It's just like thinking like her designs like some kind of like political allegory or something. Uh, yeah, I've I've seen that. I like the, no. I'm like people shut up. They like, no. I. This is this is Star Wars fans' fault. It always comes back to them. <laughs> oh, that's the last two ones. They yeah, let's, get, let's grab it. Poison, the, poison the well for discourse on just many things. Okay, so... Fish. Super fast. What Claw uh, grip the controller. What? Uh, claw grip. What, what, what are you saying uh, claw grip for? Because... Yeah. I can't hear you. The, um... No, I was doing claw grip so I could, like, ho um, hold the uh, speed up and also jump. Oh. These saves will just be empty. Alright, let's see. This just gets better and better. I'd always heard that one of your southern ancestors... I can come in the proofs. <laughs> ...the technique to move while staying invisible. Oh! Hold down the circle okay. button to turn invisible. That's all you yeah, need. Yeah, now you can move. ...with the left analog stick. That's all you need yeah. to tell me. I assume... Um, the, only, oh, the only catch is you have a You can only tiptoe. <laughs> ah. Okay, fair enough. I, I was gonna say, I, I assumed, like, people would, like, will become alerted if I, like, touched them, though. I believe so, because you're not intangible, you're just right. invisible. You're just, people just can't see you. Uh, you know, right. like, I... I mm, this Pants is a, are also invisible. Yeah, this is a can of worms, I guess, but, like, I, I, I get the... The whole being woke stuff is I can't, like. Can't even hear you. Hi. What? You were cut out by the, the item jingle. Oh, then just turn down the turn down the screen share a bit. Yeah. Uh. I did. It's not at full volume. Just saying, your voice is coming in very softly. Am I, I am. You sound fine to me. Uh, am I like at what? Am I at like full volume? Presume so. I'm just good. I can't make heads or tails of Discord some days. Anyways, go ahead, Harry. Um, I'd prefer to talk when Scrappy's kid, but Scrappy can actually hear me. I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah, no, I was good. I was just talking, saying like, I. Okay. <laughs> uh, good. Like, I, I get the whole. You know, I'm just gonna kill myself to get lives back. I knew you, I, I was gonna say, I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, it's oh, a... Maybe, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we just reset the fire, doesn't even give you a game over. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, m w media nowadays, like, especially Western media, is, like, kind of obsessed with, like, being woke, and I definitely get the frustrate. like, I'm frustrated with that stuff myself, but... <laughs> I I feel like sometimes people put blame in the wrong places. Like Peach and the Mario trailers, that that's not it. I'm sorry, like that has nothing to do with that. What the hell does woke even mean in this case? It, it doesn't mean anything. It, it just means it's more liberal than I would personally like. That's literally what it means for it, some people. It's, like it's basically just a way to. It's basically a um girl power. <laughs> uh. 
like agendas or whatever, like basically where it's like um, TV shows or movies putting on like political agendas and nice stuff. Job into the King's yeah, women I being competent isn't political, it's just human nature. That's why I kind of have been let to. Nope. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna be quiet. Let me they seem to uh, have you can talk then, please. Right <laughs> here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at By the way, how do you like those Murray levels in the second world? Because they're, they're back. Um, well, it, that depends. It's just, it's just two, it's just two, it's just another one of both gimmicks. Okay. Just subtitles for these bosses. I think, I think it's right here. I think one's right here, actually. Yep. In other news, Winston, have a good birthday. <laughs> oh, it's one of, it's, okay, it's one of these. Remember, remember how this works? Uh, if I remember how to... Okay, yeah. Right on. I'll keep him covered. Alright, do you remember, do you remember the, the actual rules about this, though? Uh, don't blow up barrels or whatever. Don't blow up barrels, uh, don't hit Murray. And act fast. Keep your keep your eye on Murray so you know when to react. Yay, stress. Core missions. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You want it? Okay. I was worried that was gonna blow him up. Oh, I crash back. It's been effect. No. Oh. Nice shot. I like his running animation. <laughs> <laughs> what, Murray? Yeah, it's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, God. I was about to... No. Ah! I... I didn't just bring up Star Wars fans just to piss on them. Yeah. They deserve it. Um, yeah. But no, we let a... We let going on seven years of discourse online just fester. Because oh. now everyone... Is... What did I say? Thing. We let a few legitimate concerns with the sequel trilogy get co-opted by a bunch of assholes who just had a to grind. Yeah. Be ready, by the way. Once we hit the last bit, it's gonna be a lot. What the? Uh, now every time a uh, woman so much as breathes, right here, gonna... watch out. There's gonna be a lot. <laughs> now every time that a woman shows even mild competence. Oh. People gotta have a hissy fit. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I don't have an issue with like female leads or anything because like that would be really stupid. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And, and I would make the point that it's not even so much a matter of media being woke; it's just you know more creative. What am I saying? It's just the passage of, it's the passage of time. Like, things are going to change as society progresses, like, we're not too... I think it depends on the writing, like, uh... You no, know, that's the case, that is the case for a white male lead as well. There's good ones and bad ones, yeah, like, it's don't not, it's, not, it's, not a prob it, it's not a problem with, like, the gender or the race. Um, I, I think for me, the oh, only... Yeah, yeah that, that wasn't too bad, actually, but, like, the... That was um, a lot easier on the first one, actually. <laughs> probably because I knew what I was doing. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, the, the thing with, like, yeah. the, this, like, whole debacle, I guess, is that, uh, it depends on the writing itself. I don't care if a character's black, white, female, male, whatever. Like, I care about what the actual character is themselves, and, like, I, I think my issue is where, when they, um, oh, Harry Potter, nice, uh, like what, my issue is when they make a character make a character be female, just for the sake of making them female. Because look at them, they have tits, and like that's the whole character. That's when I have an issue with it, because it is. I feel like that's disrespectful to pretty much everyone, and it doesn't really. I, I it doesn't really do anything interesting, and it's just look, we have a female lead, we're progressive. Look at us, and that's I, I don't like that. I mean. 
they can have the amount of money just because they want one. It's not they don't need them to justify a reason for that. It's well, no, no, that's character. not that's not what I mean. I I mean like you're doing it specifically to uh, have an agenda where like okay. I'm, I've made it mo no mistake that I was n not a fan of She-Hulk whatsoever, and one of the things about, for the, re one of my reasons I reasonings for that, is the fact that they basically made all the dudes seem like complete jackasses. Like, oh, I'm gonna check out all the girls and all that, and like, the, they they basically made the all the male characters like just complete idiots or just really unlikable, and like. She Hulk the character, or is that just the fault of the writing surrounding everyone else? Uh, it, it's just the show. It's just the show itself, more so. Like, just. This I don't looks know. like a good place to try out your new invisibility. I wasn't really ready to run about this today, to but like. Uh, While invisible, nothing can see you. Not lasers, not searchlights, not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see Invisibility you, should still cast a shadow, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's like... I don't want to try to say, like... Uh, I, I, uh. I don't know how to word myself today. It, like, it, it's... I... I guess what I'm trying to say is that I, I kind of... I, I wish, like, stuff like She-Hulk focused more on like telling an actual story and not uh look how good like women can be and look how scummy guys can be and like that that's like your whole story but that's when i have an issue with it like i i don't want to watch a show just to see like the writers do stuff like that i i don't care like i i want to watch she-hulk or mcu because i want to see something like exciting or interesting or thought provoking etc etc and like she hulk she hulk specifically is just it doesn't really have much of a point half the time and it again it just feels like most of it is just look how good girls can be and then that's kind of it i mean that can focusing on a woman trying to work up Work her way up to the professional world can be a story. That's yeah. I mean, what many it, good movies are about. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not saying it couldn't have been, but like the way they wrote it was just not it. Well, I haven't seen She-Hulk yet. I can't go. I can't make comment one way or the other. But I believe I don't know. I feel like that's part of Jennifer's character in the comics. She's trying to get her life together and as a lawyer. Right. Like. I mean, I think your issue doesn't stem so much from women can be awesome. It's more around everyone, more about stuff surrounding it, other factors surrounding it that just weren't as ex executed well. I guess so. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I I just feel like the priorities of some writers are is a bit like messed up sometimes. I mean. I you mentioned Western media earlier. I wouldn't say this is necessarily a Western media exclusive problem, but not necessarily. But it, it... I, oh, I'm not done. I will say though, make your female leads as interesting, competent, quirky, entertaining, as strong as you like. But I just actually, what am I trying to say? I guess from one filthy screenwriter to another, oh, good. to others, I guess. Just pay attention. I slide. <laughs> I like the way slide bounced off the rail. He couldn't. He couldn't stand all of this political talk. He just couldn't. He couldn't take it anymore. Wait, you know we had that point. Why are we back here? So, saying just make whatever you want. I guess make whatever you want. Just make your story entertaining. As a make your story entertaining. Like it's not exactly. To a degree, it's not what your story's about, it's how it's how you tell it. Yeah. And that can that can cut in many ways depending on your political spectrum, but for the sake of this argument, just write your characters as people. If you Pretty want much. to bring their if you would like to bring their I guess I guess social political background into it by all means, that can lead to a more enriching story, but always write your characters as people. Now in the cut 
Within the context of Peach in the Mario movie, yes, it's nice to see her actually doing a little more, though. At the very first shallow glance, yeah, it seems like they composited Daisy's characteristics into her, and I'm only kind saying that because yeah. Daisy's slightly more competent. I mean, she's more competent in the sense that, like, she actually does stuff. And I, I mean, Daisy, what was I saying? I meant Daisy is more, quote-unquote, competent because she doesn't get kidnapped as much. Because she doesn't get used. Um, yeah. So, who knows, maybe, I don't know, I guess... Like, there's more, there's room for more than one competent woman in Mario, but I, I do wonder if Illumination thinks Daisy's redundant now. <laughs> I, I, we'll see. Um, I mean, there's also the fact that, like, the, the uh, live-action movie just, uh, did, <laughs> used Daisy instead for some reason. Because that was a Luigi's movie. <laughs> the only primary concern I, the only quote-unquote concern I have with Keith has less to do with competency and just more, more to do with... Will she be funny? Yeah, like, I guess this is, I'm, com I, I, this is an animated comedy film. I would like my female characters to be funny. Yeah, I mean, Peach has never really stri uh, like got, like stricken me as like a comedy kind of character, but uh, I don't know, maybe. Peach is a glorified object in the mainline games. That's why. I mean, she she just kind of comes off as like a more like. Um, I don't know what's, it, what's the right word, like... Dignified. Yeah, like that kind of character. I mean, yes, I guess, but we have Rosalina for that, when she shows up. Yeah, well, Rosalina is like a different kind of comic collected. Like, uh, Peach is like, he, is that in, this, in more of a royalty sense? Whereas Rosalina is just inherently just a calm character, I guess. This is just monkey's peripheral vision, like, he's right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> you give, you give, you give these guys too much credit. <laughs> Apparently. I know, I know. So... I guess, again, you can have a relative, I guess, the straight woman of a group, but like, yeah. I don't know. Give her something, like, let her let her be in within, what did I say? Like, you're in a fantasy cartoon, well, let her have some slapstick, like, give her a quirk of something. I don't, again, this is, I'm going off of a trailer, she'll probably have some funny line, like, I... Yeah. I don't, I like, I like, the Illumination doesn't usually make dry female characters. The, the movies are usually pretty comedy driven, so... Yeah, like, I, like that's why I'm not too fussed. Like, um... Ruth's daughters don't really go through the slapstick like he does, but they are not boring. Yeah. Like, Lucy oh. in the sequel is pretty funny, so... I think Peach will be fine. I'm... People made the jokes of Mario just kind of being Emmett in from the Lego movies, because huh. Chris Pratt and Mario might be... Special, but I can kind of see. I get to kind of see the similarities with Emmett. So I guess it's uh, appropriate that Peach is basically his wild style. Huh. Yeah. Of course, I would maybe argue wild style is more interesting in the second film when she feels a bit more like a character and less of a. Um, I won't call her a trope, but she just feels a bit more developed in the second film. I've never seen like a movie too. <laughs> it's a fun film. I think we're I think we're gonna watch that on movie night eventually. Yeah. I remember enjoying the first one, but it's been ages. It came out nearly a decade ago. Wait, really? Really? It doesn't feel like it. It. No. Like, I swear, it felt oh. like I saw that movie like three years ago. Yeah, right. <laughs> First one came out February 2014. Jeez, okay. It doesn't feel like that long ago. Yeah, uh... I assume oh, I go back. Yeah. Oh! I just remembered something about this rope right here. Yeah? One here. Uh, Pro during Proton John's video, uh, 
Uh, during Proton John's live stream, uh, he had a little, he had a bit of a group of that rope. Oh, damn it! He just kept going. He and, like Sly got to the end of the rope, but he just kept riding off. <laughs> I hear your voice, Jason, but it seems that Discord, you're no longer a hater. Any better? Um, I, I guess I, I could always hear your voice and just. Can you hear me? I always, I could always hear you. I just couldn't. Like Discord's just not showing your icon as a spectator right now on my end, anyways. But no. you know how my computer. I, is. I, I stopped spectating for a moment just to make sure my computer, for my phone, doesn't crap out on me. But that, that, anyways, that rope, that rope from earlier. Proton John during his thing, he got on that rope right before the checkpoint you hit, and as soon as he hit to the end, for some reason Sly just kept kept riding. Uh huh. Like he just went off into a distance. He went off into a distance. Nice. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah, who put the bottle up there? <laughs> it was a challenge, but this vault's combination has got to be. And what? Six, six, seven. Oh, I thought you were yeah, going to say 666. Six, six, six. I thought you were going to say 666 six, six for a minute. Aww. Incredible! I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those oh, pits you keep falling into, <laughs> and you won't even lose a lucky charm. I feel like I'm being called out. I, I found a secret from your family that'll make you suck less. <laughs> that, that description is really good. <laughs> you do need to briefly defy gravity. Why, this pagoda oh. is some kind of huge gunpowder. I think that's a really good way of describing it. <laughs> oh! Well, that was good. Uh, okay. <laughs> Combo. Already. Okay. Do I sound any, do I sound any better? By the way. Sounded fine to begin with. Yeah, you sound fine. Okay, my, my 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 internet in the house has been really fucky lately. Oh, you're too. Uh, what what do you think? Uh, is there anything else we can say about the the Marrow movie? Uh, what what's um, your? Chad's got jumped the shark trying to like, <laughs> the girl boss. So, um, <laughs> hopefully we just stop taking them seriously no, forever. <laughs> I want Toad. Um, uh, do we know if Toadsworth is in the movie? Um, we don't know. Um, I, I didn't even see Toadette, which is... Like, we didn't even see Toadette, which is weird. Princess, look! On the statue's head! Stay on your toes. What? What? Um, what was I gonna say? And Mario? <laughs> uh, what am I gonna say? I will, I do, again, I don't, know, I don't know what's gonna happen in this movie, like, I do hope Luigi isn't, like, super long, too long. I... I was gonna say, I understand that they made Luigi or James from Distress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Uh, I assume Luigi's gonna be doing, like, his own thing for a lot of the movie. Well, I mean, I remember the, at the end of the, remember, I still remember at the end of the first trailer where he was, like, getting chased by, like, ghosts and, and, and dry bones. Yeah, so I assume he's, like, he's gonna be in a, on his own adventure. Probably, so, I guess, I guess cross my fingers for the sequel and he gets the, uh, get a little more shine as, as, as Luigi's as Mansion spin-off, let's go. Uh, why not? The ending of Mario Cinematic Universe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I am. I am just, just, just enjoying just the amount of stuff that's in the movie. It's... Yeah, the the uh, in terms of references, like it's already one. Like the the references is like like really good. 
I, people saw Dixie and Dixie and Diddy Kong in the back of Don in the promotional poster. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's in the, yeah, and, I, yeah. People saw the yeah. and the old theorizing that the Kongs that was racing with Mario on Rainbow Road was Kitty Kong or Funky Kong. Ha. I I I wouldn't be surprised. They do seem to be bringing a lot more of the. The Kong family than I was expecting. They're sent, they they want to they want to make a Donkey Kong Country movie. But they want to do it badly. Oh, uh, terrible! But I see the rest of them. Huh? It's in the apartment. I saw his tail, but I didn't see the rest of them. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, we were talking about. I, I don't know if you heard it, but like earlier, we were talking about how it was like the first time the. They've re redesigned Donkey Kong since the Country series, and uh, it's more. It, it, it's interesting that they made him more in line with the arcade game. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I like. I like. Uh, I mean, they did. Uh, the most common is true. Like, uh, EAD and Retro kind of already tweaked his rare design when they were making Jungle Beat and um, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Yeah. It, 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 although it is kind of funny that, like, um, what is it? The, uh, the, the, new, the new DK isn't actually, like, the arcade Donkey Kong, and, like, Cr Cranky's, like, still there, which, I don't know, I just think that's funny that he's, like, using the arcade design. You can just say it's Donkey Kong Jr.'s bulky design. Huh. Yeah. Can I do anything about these guys? Just put you were gonna hit the gong now, like make them go away or something. <laughs> Some very inattentive guards. Yeah. I, I, they're, they're just having a having a time. Just don't mind them. Well, yeah, I'm, um, the movie looks pretty, I'm, um, I'm so used to Mario just being just the guy that it's, it's, it can be a little, it's a little, I guess a little surreal to see him kind of having to go through the hero's journey, but the games are not the movie. They're gonna have to take some creative liberties. I I feel because like if it was just a straight one-to-one -one, like movie based on the games, I feel like that can only really go so far. I'm not even sure what you do with like a one-to-one -one mainline games because they're not taking the RPGs for inspiration. Yeah, because I like, may like I can maybe see that if it was like a short like silent film or something, but definitely not like a feature length. You know, Emperor's new group style comedy, like yeah. in the style of like the Mario and Luigi RPGs, would be, could be funny. That would be insane. Are you supposed to be on that? Yeah. <laughs> the good thing the firecrackers somehow can be charged. Yeah. That's the right way to go, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> is it? I assume it is. What's this done? Wait, what? No? Okay, I'll go back there then. Okay. <sighs> okay. 
I appreciate that the uh, clue balls haven't really been that difficult to find. They've kind of just been along the way. Like, we've we missed a few sometimes, but usually it doesn't take too long to find them. I guess that happen that, that's what happens when, like, your levels are linear and you don't have too many hiding spots for them. Not like trying to find the last few moons in the Odyssey Kingdom. Good lord. I think Donkey Kong 64 scared a lot of 3D platformer developers after for a while. Yeah. I enjoy this mis Mission Impossible kind of stuff with the lasers. Um, oh, we, we missed a bunch. Where, where did we miss, like, six? Okay. Sc screw me, I guess. Jason's still here. I forgot I muted myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you were actually responding to shit I was saying. <laughs> no, I, I said, yeah, we missed we missed six, so that means we're gonna have to go for a while a lot. We have to go for the beginning. <laughs> yeah, no, I I I Oh wait, wait, wait. What? There's something right there. Uh, turn the camera to the slides left. One more. Oh, wait. Uh, One more. Oh, wait. Uh, wait. Can we get back up? Well, I mean, we can defy gravity, so. <laughs> yeah, but isn't that just gonna send us back up here? Can we climb the rope from below? Maybe. No? Maybe if I, like, finagle my way up there. We might just have to reset the level. Oh, but that's lame. It is lame. Oops. Uh, we missed quite a few. Yeah, I don't know how we missed that many. Secretly, each of those monkeys with the nunchucks are hiding one. <laughs> the game, the game the was bottles just... were the nunchucks. The game just heard, <laughs> was just like... Uh, you, yeah, you haven't been <laughs> missing them much. I was like, gonna say. <laughs> s screw you, player. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Eh, uh, well, shit happens. Yeah. Oh, I forgot we still had fast on. <laughs> Well, as they say, do it again. <laughs> 